Hello everyone, I am Shai Mitro and you are watching WCS Expo. It is highly recommended that current affairs is very essential for competitive exam. So here we discuss today's most important current affairs. So you subscribe the channel to get daily updated current affairs. Today's important current affairs are Radhakrishnan Nair. Chief Coach of AFI, Athletics Federation of India has appointed Radhakrishnan Nair as its full-time Chief Coach, filling the post left vacant after the resignation of Bahadur Singh in July 2020. Nair was the acting Chief Coach of Indian Athletics since then. He is the first Indian to have an international coaching enrichment program certificate of the International Olympic Committee. Pixel to launch remote sensing satellite. Pixel will launch its first remote sensing satellite on the ISRO rocket polar satellite launch vehicle PSLV in early 2021. For this, the firm has entered into an agreement with New Space India Limited (NSIL), a government of India company under Space Department. This first of a kind private Earth observation mission will help provide solution to many pressing environmental and agricultural issues. Napoli renames stadium in honor of Maradona. Italian club Napoli renamed its stadium in honor of former captain Diego Maradona. The Nepal city council approved the change of name from Stadium San Paolo to Stadio Diego Armando Maradona in a seven-year stint at Napoli from 1984 to 91, Maradona led the club to its only Serie A titles in 1987 and 1990. The Italian Cup in 1987 and its only major European title, the UFA Cup in 1989. Mizoram's first solar power plant commissioned. Mizoram's first solar power plant has been commissioned at Plungvel. The great Connected 2 megawatts solar photovoltaic solar power plant was opened by State Power Minister R. Lalzir Laina on 4 December 2020. A 20 megawatt solar power plant and 5 megawatt solar power plant are also being currently constructed at Vankal in Kawazal district and near Saitul town, respectively. Writer Ranendro honored with an award. Writer and critic in Hindi Ranendra has been honored with the Srilal Shukla Sriti IFFCO Shaito Shaman for the year 2020 by Indian Farmers Fertilizer Cooperative Limited IFCO. The award is given annually to a person who has made an important contribution in the field of literature. The award was started in the year of 2011 in the memory of the storyteller Srilal Shukla. Kolkata's Macherhat Bridge named Jai Hind. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has named the newly built Macherhat Bridge in Kolkata as Jai Hind Bridge to commemorate the 125th birth anniversary of Subhash Chandra Bose. The bridge on the Arterial Diamond Harbour Road connects the central part of the city to the southwestern suburbs of Bihala and beyond. Vice President releases a book. Vice President Venkaiya Naidu has virtually released the book 40 Years with Abdul Kalam Untold Stories, authored by Dr. Sivasthanu Pillai. The book provides a gripping first hand account of Dr. Kalam's life. It has been published by Pentagon Press LLP and the foreword has been written by Pranam Mukherjee, former president of India. The Delhi government launches electric vehicles forum. The Delhi government announced the launch of an EV forum, a common platform for multiple stakeholders to hold discussion on the government's electric vehicle policy. The focus of Delhi's EV forum would be to enable engagement of a wide range stakeholders in the EV ecosystem for successful implementation of the EV policy. The objective of the policy is to combat air pollution in Delhi. Other Punawala named as Asian of the Year. Siram Institute of India CEO Adar Punawala has been named among six people as Asians of the Year by Singapore's Straits Times. The five others who made to the list 
are Chinese researcher Zhang Yonghan, Major General Ching Wei China, Dr. Rizwik Morsiana Japan, Oi Yang Ong Singapore, and South Korean businessman Sheo Jung Jin. Sanjana Sanghi topped IMDb's list. Sanjana Sanghi has topped IMDb's list of breakout stars in Indian streaming content this year. She was followed by Isha Talwar, Harshita Gaur, Swastika Mukherjee, and Ahana Kumar. She was made her debut in a leading role with Dilbechara. China unfurled its flag on moon. China becomes the second nation to plant flag on the moon. Chinese spacecraft Cheng's 5, the Chinese flag was raised on the moon's surface. The Chang's 5 mission was sent to the moon to understand the origin of the moon and to bring back moon samples. China will be the third country to retrieve samples from the moon after the United States and the former Soviet Union in the 1960s and 1970s. So these are the most important current affairs of the day. I hope it helps you a lot. Please like this video, share your love, comment on this video and please, please subscribe the channel.